boys and girls, and we are at the Peabody Museum with my cute, adorable <laughs> Catherine Kitten, or Katie Kitten. I got so used to calling her Catherine, now to change her. She prefers Katie, so now I have to retrain. <laughs> oh, I had to back up for that. Ooh. Yeah, if I ever go back in time, I hope I don't slip and accidentally go there because I'll just die the first day. <laughs> sea scorpions. Just when you thought the water was safe. Yeah, that was quite upsetting. <laughs> and the under part looks like a lobster, but the whole thing looks like a nightmare. You know what this looks like? Plico. Just with extra limbs. No, what now? It looks like a plico, just with extra limbs. I must admit, I do not know what a plico is, but uh, I take your word for it. They're uh, the little fish in the tank that eat all the algae. Oh, like little sucker fish? Yeah, those Oh, okay. Oh. Like my second husband had a little sucker fish, an Oscar fish. His son had a little hard time saying it, so he called him soccer fish. <laughs> it was so cute. Oh. Ooh, and no museum is complete without dinosaur skeletons. Post extinction. Well, I reckon so. It's got a strange little head for all the rest of that. Mm. Does not seem so por por very proportionate. <laughs> That thing's a whole mess right there. It's pretty cool, isn't it? Yeah, I guess he died kind of curled up funny. I'm trying to hold the camera more still because I was just like looking at this and going like this and the video looked and I was like, maybe I moved a little too quick. So I was trying not to do it this time. Mark's gonna be so jealous. Oh. <laughs> Poor little Mark. Oh, right. I mean, as a term in German, of course. He does seem like a nice kid. He is. He's awesome. Except when he hurt my feelings. Huh? <laughs> Except when he hurt my feelings. I was joking. Because <laughs> I was mentioning, like, 
the 80s. He was like, man, I wasn't born to the 90s, and I was a kid in the 2000s. And I'm like, that wounded me. <laughs> like, I already worked in bars by the time the early 2000s came. I'm like, it's just... Ah, well, I'm not a fan of paying taxes. And a lot of them are cash under the table jobs. And I like that, because fuck the government and fuck the police. Fuck the IRS. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> I get excitable about stuff too. <laughs> At least he gave us warning. Yeah. Can't be mad about that. <laughs> that looks like ostrich egg. Or emu or emu egg. Because emu eggs would yeah. I have one of these at home. Bird. Katie Kitten, I got one. I got number 32 at home. How'd you get that? Well, I, oh, oddly enough, Facebook, I think, Craigslist. Somebody was selling it for like five bucks. I'm like, hey, yo, for real. And I was like, I don't know why, but I want one of those. So I have it on my shelf. <laughs> it was like hollowed out and everything, which saves me the work because I don't know how to do that. <laughs> Disgust, dude. What's this name? <laughs> Sometimes they give the <laughs> creatures names. Meet Disgust, dude. Oh my god. That's so silly, but I like it. <clears throat> Digging around in dirt all day, you gotta make it extra fun sometimes. Yeah. Me, I'd love it all the time. Especially if we're looking for artifacts. Oh Look, yeah. Ooh, that thing looks ugly and mean. Like a big ass dodo bird or something? What is that thing? I don't know. Yeah. I think they were supposed to be smaller, but I mean, cartoons also are not really good for, you know, sizing things to scale. So. That's cute. To learn more about these cute animals. I'll do this so you guys can scan that and learn more if you want to. I'm guessing this is in Wyoming or something. Or Montana. Oh, Wyoming. Okay, it was one of those two. That poor fish, he was on the way to nibble a plant and just didn't make it. Actually, that's what I'm not sure what this is. That's... What a name. <laughs> it's going to be a crocodile. Or alligator, I can't tell. I never knew the Apparently, with yeah, one of them, you can see further back on the teeth. Maybe so. I don't remember which one's which. There's a gator. All right. Nice. A tweet up. Tweet up, tweet Oh, wait. 
Lima? Nu, Lima. Man, a pile of bones like that. What are they saying? They're not really saying anything about this, but there's different jaw bones and stuff in here. You what? Anything about this one? Not yet. But I'm gonna guess that if you have a bunch of bones like this piled up in no particular order, then most likely it was found because maybe where an animal would take its prey and eat it and leave the bones. Oh, make it scattered. Yeah. So a lot of times, you know. Animals are generally smart enough not shooting, not shooting where they eat. So they have their own eating place and sometimes you get piles of bones in their little bin. That looks like the kind of mess you'd find. That's not an animal just died and fell over and became fossilized. There's a whole lot of throwing around. Oh la la. Look at the jawline on him. Oh shoot, no way. In the prairies? Yo, I did not know that. Apparently, there used to be camels in this part of the area. Of course, probably, they probably were attached to another continent at the time, but they apparently found oh, more or less people. Oh, that's it. Although, looking at the way it's set up, I would hope that if it's not moving, I could try to be like just under. It, it, it was, I forget what that movie was called that had uh, Riddick in it. And as it came out at night, and he, he had night vision so you could see him. And he was, he was like pitch dark or something. But like, he knew if he got close enough that he wouldn't be able to see him because the way their eyes were. That's what we'd have to do with that thing. <laughs> I wonder how true it is you need a tail for balance. You need what? Well, they're talking about one of the only, uh, uh, one of the only things that needs a light. They can walk on two legs and not need a tail for balance. I'm like, like, Jeff's not have much of a tail. They walk all right. There's cats with like, when they're not on two legs, but have little bobtails. And they walk up. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> Let me get to where you can see this properly. It's a lot of light reflecting. Reign of the Mega Beast. Oh shit. I mean, I know it's not exactly the same creature, but Jesus, can you imagine if Santa had this leading his sleigh? Holy fuck. That would turn into a really gruesome story. I can't do it with level very well. Oh my god, so cute. <laughs> you are so cute. <laughs> I love it. Bambies. I feel bad for poor Bambi. Maybe it died of natural causes. That's what I want to believe. Hey, it looks like one of the guys I've dated. Huh? Like old knuckle dragon. I, I think I dated that guy. <laughs> <laughs> I think that was actually friends with him. I'm not sure. Oof. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if they have like a little cafe or something and get like water. I sure hope so. Though. I'm starting to shrivel up. I took my I took a little bit of anxiety medication. That kind of dries me out. Were you, were you that nervous coming here? Well, it's well, it's the stress of whether or not you would show up, whether or not maybe y'all were upset with me, the fact that I'm gonna have to get on the plane and leave you again. I didn't want that. Ever. I feel like I'm replaying that, although obviously it's different because you know me now. 
And I'm like, I can't forget you, I'm not too. Right. <laughs> and like circumstances are better. So but, like <laughs> still it's still depressing knowing I'm getting on that plane and just leaving you. That always ate me up. I gaslit myself. What if the court thing had you know turned out better? It doesn't. And you're poor and you don't have a solid place to live. Oh, and the paperwork, the audacity. They were like, they were like she said that she could take, you know, Diana back to Oklahoma. God knows where. And I'm like, to the address on fucking file, you dingus. Well, I'm not going to take her to go live in a cave. Jesus. Oh, but, but the way they, but they, they try to put a nasty twist on everything so it sounds bad. Oh, yeah. And I'm like, no, those are corn. Or corn type. Oh man, let's see if we can find a cafe or something. <laughs> Need like a water. Maybe something cute and frou frou, I don't know. Let's see what the little thingy says. Elevator, toilets, ooh, gallery. Oh, then maybe we have to turn around then. <laughs> yeah, there's like nothing over there, I didn't know that. Oh. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, my anxiety medicine thing. It's a little bit, and then my mouth will take some kind of. You know, that is not pleasant. I got myself one of those little mango boba teas last night. I had called Dee Dee there. I was like, you know how I like this, but I don't, I don't, because I never wrote an actual got one. Like, if I want it, you know, Dee Dee's like, I want to go get one. You want one? I'm like, heck yeah. She knew how to order it. So I was like, Dee Dee, I need you. Like, I, I would eat So I was like, do I need a boba milk tea or a boba fruit tea? She goes, you want the boba milk tea and mango. Like, yeah. Yeah, oh, and tell her you do not want tapioca pearls, you want mango breaking pearls. Or <laughs> mango popping pearls, sorry. I was like, oh, um, no tapioca pearls, mango popping pearls. And she's like, all right. I'm like, thank God. So, like, do you need like, What's the difference? A, a tapioca is just kind of, I guess. I don't remember exactly what the issue is. But it was cute. I was like, thank you, honey. <laughs> Gabby, look at this big bird. She tries to look after me. Oh, I don't remember. I don't think I got this little fishy on there. Oh my god. That's some tiny ass writing. Like ancient Assyrian post-it notes. Fuck. That's so cool. I shall do this just in case someone can screenshot it and try to translate it or something. There we go. Give him a chance to screenshot that. Obsidian. I, I want to dig and find obsidian. We are hoping to go to the mountains in September, the, near the end of September, to like go dig for crystals and stuff like I've been wanting to do. Cause I was like, maybe we can do it in the beginning of September. And Chris is like, well, my birthday is like the beginning of October. We could go for that. And I'm like, I love it. <laughs> so I'm excited and hopefully I'll have some to upload for y'all. Ooh, what's this? Big little wee slide sample things. Oh, there's my baby girl. Oh, poor wee butterflies. Oh, that is... That's seriously nice looking butterflies. Oh, shit. Jesus, some of these bugs are fucking big. Hmm. I am disturbed that Polaroid cameras are now in fucking museums. I've used Polaroid cameras before. 
the fact that something I've used before is now in a museum makes me feel ridiculously old. <laughs> and they cry a little bit even. I might have that camera at home or some equivalent there. Oh, I love that. They have a Polaroid camera over there. I'm like, the fact that a cam type of camera I've used before is not a museum, I find offensive. <laughs> Someday mine will be too. Oof. Kills me. I've actually used those before. Like, oh, really? It was like, a, like a antique store where you could like, go like this and try it. I was like, dude, that's cool. Yeah. You know what's really funny? What one else weird to think about? That black camera was the modern day camera when Dad was born. 1946. Oh, sound it? Oh, man. <laughs> yes, it was. I thought you were ragging on him for a minute. I'm like, no, okay, you for real. All right. Yeah. <laughs> like, uh, I was like, that poor man. Ooh, some of the antique stores in Oklahoma had these. These, like, little books with the old pictures on them. Oh, we saw that, too. I like those. It was some uh, <laughs> antique shop on Branford Hill. I keep hoping that, like, I'm going to go more prepared this time. I go have my Google Lens thing, so mm -hmm. if it's someone famous, maybe it'll tell me. I'll be like, right. I might get, you know, because those are worth more money if it's someone famous. Yeah. Oh, and after y'all dropped me off yesterday, mm -hmm. I was like, I can't end like this. So I walked my happy ass to an antique store, well, a bookstore called Gray Matter, mm -hmm. and I was looking for what you used for books. And, uh, I, uh, it was an unbelievable book in the dollar section. I think someone put it there by accident. You think so? But I'm doing it. You took it? Complete works of Robert Burns. Mm -hmm. And I can't find the exact book, like on a book. There's a couple of books that are similar to it. So if that's any indication, one is between $120 and $314. And I'm like, cha -ching. I am super excited about that deal. And so, because I just take old books and then put them on the bookshelf and I feel all fancy and excited. And then one was written, I think, by Mary Shelley's daughter or niece or something, mm -hmm. Jane Shelley. Mm -hmm. And that book, apparently, on eight books was for 80. Oh my gosh. I paid 25. Nice. I was like, hell yeah. Ooh, damn. Early hypodermic needles. I'm taking a picture of the Wolf. That's some rough medical tools. Well, actually, we still have tools like that now, really. I wonder how many legs that thing has taken off. Yikes. I get so distracted talking to my little girl. I miss some things. I'm sorry. Oh, wow. Yeah, thank you. I like get your glasses. I guess. That is so cool. This just looks like a button. It does. That's what I thought too. That is like this looks like a really inappropriate peach emoji. Thanks. Oh, oh, that's cute. As y'all can see, we are in the cute little gift shop. Eh, seen worse. Seen better, but I've seen worse. <laughs> I wouldn't get an idea of the sticker shock that was about to ensue. <laughs> Kitten, are your ears pierced? Huh? Are your ears pierced? Yeah. Oh, okay. One professionally, one I did myself. Oof. Yeah. Girl. Although I did tattoo part of my leg, so I mean, I can't talk too much. Were <laughs> you the little stick of poke? No, I had an actual tattoo gun. Oh. You can get them on eBay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the kit, the ink, yeah. Oh so yeah, you gotta get like you want a number four flat for the shading, you know, a number two to get some lines, a one for like the really thin lines. Like you draw an eye, you want the little red cracked eye thing. Oh. Yeah. So yeah, although thin number ones, unfortunately, those are more they're quicker to blur than anything. But yeah, but yeah, I, I drew a skull on my leg, and that came out fine. I should have left it at that. 
No, I thought he was going to get creative with coloring and shading. Oh, what a crap. I should, I, uh, I'll show you. It's right about here. I'll try to keep tattoos where I can like go like this and show people that be embarrassing. <laughs> like, it's as hidden as I want it to be. But, like... Although it's like secretly my neighbor can actually make that. Oh my god, that is so cute. Has it got like uh, has it got like stuff inside? Like a picture? Oh, I think so. I think it's like actually. Oh, uh, okay. I thought maybe it was like one of those viewer things. Which would be cute, but don't get me wrong. Okay. Those cards are good. I think she needs a dinosaur keychain. It would be cute. He said he had stuffed animals, like, everywhere. I don't know, maybe you need, like, a cute little dinosaur keychain. <laughs> arr, arr. I don't know. I don't know. Something adorable. I like this thing. It is cute. I'm gonna bother down with this all day. I get you too. <laughs> Just in case it takes one of them from you. I get you too for that. Just throws it. He's got another one out of my pocket. ASMR museum sounds. I think they have ADHD like I do. Just to make things a little bit political. If that's a canon, then like I think it would be funny to have because it's like the Second Amendment is only for weapons they had back then. Then let me have some cannons in my front yard. That would be marvelous. <laughs> but it's probably not a cannon. But I don't know. The guy thought it was, and I'm like, maybe. <laughs> there are humans in my. There are little humans. <sighs> It's like a little prism thingy. That's weird because I actually have a tall version of that little prism glass. I thought I'd lost it, but I found it the other day before I left Oklahoma. Oh, that's pretty. Quite a magnifying glass, yeah? Trying to get to where y'all can read the shit. That looks like a big enough tuning fork. It's a piano demonstrator. <laughs> Bobby, don't you make fun of me? 
Super cool looking. Heck yeah. I had I, I sold one that looked very similar to that one right there. It was like an apple too. It was like an apple too that I that I I thought it was selfish for like windows or something. Oh huh. No. Those were like no, so it had like the apple one, the apple two or something. And those came out like the early eighties. We also had Combo sixty fours that came out in the eighties, you probably had but that has to that's the <laughs> There's a history of no them. Okay. Luca, come here. Those are these were the old earliest computers, but Sorry. Yes. Yeah. 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 Back at this one right here. Yeah. That's a fancy yeah. it's like, yeah. like a calculator. Yeah. Yeah. So it's a first calculator. All right, bud. And then number seven is an early computer. And then if you want to look over here, what you see, number six? Yeah. Five and six. That number six is some of the earliest computers for people. The millionaire exactly. calculating machine. Oh, you know. yeah, Yes. Yes, I did. That looks like a Yes, we actually had that at my middle school. So five. That's a portable computer. Oh, yeah. 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 First 3D Ooh, microscopes. Did you see Oh, I me, I suppose he is. It was pretty funny. And it's got a hole missing in his chest, like a hole for his chest. I think it is not hidden enough for that. Maybe it's to symbolize getting your heart taken out or something. I don't know. I don't know if they did that sort of thing, depending on where he's from. I've got these lights, like, messing with it. You know what I've noticed? 
honest. Oh, oh. A lot of the ancient Egyptian statues don't have any more noses. A lot of them got damaged just like because it's like something sticks out, it tends to get knocked off. It does. Although I do believe there were certain instances with maybe statues and pop, and I think paintings, wall paintings of someone, that if they were a bad person, they were felt into bad favor, their face was scratched out. Oh my gosh. So they would never be remembered. I'm not 100% sure, but like, right now my medicine's kicking in, so I don't know if I can Google that, but I think that is the case. It's kind of like the ancient Egyptian version of blocking someone or burning their pictures or scratching it out. Two on the other side. Ooh. On the other side, this one over there. Yeah. Okay, Let's get closer. So, just in case anyone wants to screenshot it and use Google Lens and see if they get a translation, I'm going to hold it there so people can screenshot it. <laughs> hey, they want to be interactive. I welcome it. Okay. Start tracing the line. Hard to see. Oh, okay. Well, damn. Alright. <laughs> I got at least get done with the Egyptian stuff. Okay. So, so I, want, I want to get as much time in with y'all as I can. I also don't get a chance at things like this very often. Like ever. Ooh. That is perfect. That one. Number 13. Nice. Got the whole oh, sheet. Okay. Oh, this one looks a little bit weird. Like, you just kind of got them in there and just kind of squeeze them down in there. Or maybe it's clay and maybe they built it around him. I don't know. That's wild though. I think sure it's looking like that. And a spot for the little toes. Oh, my goodness. All right, so. Oh, shit, that looks good too. I want to see that. Yeah, that's a tiny handwriting. It's like tiny, tiny handwriting. Just trying to give you a scale of how small that writing is. That's some, the hand cramps that had to be involved in that. <laughs> Wild. <clears throat> but that is the end of our tour for right now. Lots of hugs to everybody. <laughs>